that on personally to you uh, rather than upload that this is a short period I'll try to send them to you like personally to you on your whatsapp but like when you came in there you just kept more right like you could have just gone into that left lane properly boom straight yourself up rather than make your life so difficult that you did all right uh, let's start again this mock test will finish at 24 past yeah okay all right so fresh start yeah okay. we start now I like to pull up somewhere. Actually, no, don't, don't ignore what I just said. Just keep in mind. Just realize there's an island there, but end up blocking the road. Okay, I like to pull up somewhere safe on the left, please. Just before that BMW, leave yourself enough room to pull off. Here's good. Okay, Donna, whenever you're ready, I'd like to just drive off. straight on please
always use your right or not, so you turn left or right, plenty of time. Driving when you're ready. Next left. side of the road just after that learner. Keep a reasonable distance between yourself and the curb and just drive drive back traffic. Right, so Donna, we're going to start um, 20 minutes of independent driving now, okay? Um, I'd like to give you some directions for you to follow. Your directions are, at the end of this road you will turn right, mm -hmm. and then at the roundabout you will be also turning right, and then you'll follow signs to Pinna. So at the end of the road right, the roundabout right, and then following signs to Pinna. Okay. okay, if you forget, you can ask me in good time, okay? Mm -hmm. Drive on when you're ready.
inside the pillar as well. Mm
Zobaczcie. Continue following the turn then, okay? Pillar is not this way.
Mm -hmm. Not too. That's the end of your independent driving. I will direct you from now onwards. Right fourth exit, please.
think of left please.
roundabout, I would like you to go straight on, second roundabout, turning right. Roundabout first, one straight on, second roundabout, turning right. That's the end of your mock test. Um, how do you think you did? Um, failed, but I think I got it wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, where did you fail? That uh, car was getting too close to that car, the white one near that blue bridge. Okay, yeah. Um, well, and you reacted there yourself. Yeah. So I mean, if I was to react there, that would have been a fail for sure. It was, it was just a bit tight. Well, I think okay. that probably Yeah, so definitely, happened. I would have, if I broke that, I would have failed you for that. Mm -hmm. And your tyres on tarmac is what you need to get with everything, okay? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that, no, I, I, I didn't fail you there. Can you tell me where you think you failed? Um, you had a close encounter to fail for for more than one major, but I, I'll, 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 I'll discuss that in a second. But I mean, roundabout? No. Do you remember at any, at any point where you stalled because you was in gear three? Oh, and, when I affected that yeah, other car. Yeah, it was that a green light? So it was red. It went green, and it went and it went red again. You affected the guy behind the lady behind you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you end up uh, stalling because you was in gear three. Funny enough, for the second for the second sequence of lights, you actually went. You managed to try and pull off in three. You but you managed, but then you went to two afterwards, and there was a blue bridge road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's literally it's like I don't know how you managed to pull off in three for the second attempt, but the first attempt you failed, and then it affected the car behind you. All right, um, take a left and then let's quickly pull up so I can just discuss with you. Let's break it down for you because we don't have too much time. We'll have to start heading back soon as well. And as you turn, don't pull in yet. Let's just keep on going forward. Keep on going. And then pull up left. Anyway, here, leave yourself an out. Sometimes you get make me a bit nervous when you get close to the curve. Yeah, try to not block driveways in general. Yeah, look at don't look at the side left. Just look ahead. Go forward a bit more. Just keep looking ahead. You don't have to look left. You can see from a peripheral where you are. Stop right here. That's it. Okay, handbrake on neutral. And engine off. All right, cool. So when you, when I asked you to pull up on the opposite side of the road, two things. You was far from the curb when you initially stopped. Slightly far. Not far. Not too far. You were slightly far. When you finished, you when you finished reversing back two car lengths. You finished crooked. Your bum was sticking out a substantial amount. Now it wasn't so substantial that I actually failed you for it, but it depends on honestly how wide the road you are on. If it was a, a narrower road and you're sticking out like that, you could uh, affect the oncoming cars a substantial amount where they have to go around you. Okay. So when stopping on the opposite side of the road, two things: you stopped initially a bit, a bit far, and then when you're actually reversing back, you didn't realize you was actually holding your wheel slightly to the left. And it was just gradually going away from the curb. Okay, so th th those are the two minors. What the, the 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 potential major could have been is that you finishing fairly not parallel, crooked, like that, and that like, your bum sticking out. That could have been major if it was an arrow road. Two minors there, so I'll tally it out there. Um, at one point you press the accelerator very harshly. Okay. Oh, that's is yeah. that when we were moving out of the. A roadworks part. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was just before, just after the van, yeah? That was another minor there. The van itself was a minor, okay? The blue van. You stalled, okay? With the lady at the traffic lights. That was the first major, yeah? Okay. Mm. 
Right, whenever there's a change of speed, whether it's going up to 50, whether it's going down to 30, generally you should be checking your mirrors prior to picking up those speed limits or reducing those speed limits, okay? That's a minor in itself because it's the use of mirrors, change of speed, okay? So in general, when there's a change of speed, it's, and I think it's something that you might have forgotten that we used to teach back in the day, it's anytime there's a change of speed, mirror checks, off the gas or back on the gas or whatever it is, okay? Um, clearance of obstruction, you got two closed twice to two cars, okay? In two occasions, you'll see it and you see it on the video, okay? Got me really nervous at one point. I was just about to touch the steering wheel, okay? Uh, it's just me because I'm your instructor. If I'm not your instructor, that could be under someone else feeling very, very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They could have touched your steering wheel, okay? Another two man is there. Um, turning right, okay, there was a large roundabout. You asked me, so this is where, after we accelerated har harshly at the roadworks, and then literally I said, all right, cool, we're gonna end the uh, independent driving now. And then you said, Mohammed, uh, roundabout. Well, you didn't say Mohammed, but you said roundabout. I said, okay, cool, right, fourth exit. Oh yeah? You entered that roundabout a little bit, your nose is sticking out, you're sort of thinking, you're in the thought process of thinking, shall I go, shall I not go, when can I go? But your nose is encroaching onto the roundabout at that point. You're actually now entering that roundabout, yeah? So you're taking some right turn at this junction, at this roundabout, but you're entering the roundabout. I mean, don't enter the roundabout at all. Don't go past that give way of the roundabout until you know when you want to go and, and the timing that you're trying to go. Because what you're doing is, I think you're just getting distracted. You're looking and you're sort of going, don't pass that give way because what's going to happen is, what happens when one of those cars change their minds in terms of where they are going and your nose is substantially out, they're going to have to go around you. You're, you're going to affect them, isn't it, yeah? <laughs> so I'm giving you a minor for that, but that could have been worse than it was, okay? Um, okay, okay, pedestrian crossing, you, when you accelerated hard at that, at the temporary traffic lights, the roadworks, mm -hmm. before the roundabout, there's a zebra crossing, you accelerated really sort of quite fast passing this pedestrian crossing, maybe you looked and saw it, it was clear, but it's difficult to see children crossing the zebra crossing, so I mean... One thing that you're not anticipating is, like, I don't know whether you played attention to the zebra crossing. I'm sure you somewhat did, but or your speed wasn't catering to any potential children that, that might be running behind the vehicles. Because you've got a nice clear stretch over here, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're queuing traffic on the opposite side. And is it's blocking, it's, there's obscurity on the right side of the zebra crossing. I myself didn't understand whether it's super clear or not. I don't know how you was able to to, to to decipher that. Does that make sense, yeah? Just take your time with the zebra crossings. Just don't accelerate through them until you've got a clarity that both sides is clear. So you accelerated to that zebra crossing. I don't know if I, did I mark that down? Did I mark that down? I don't yeah. think I did, there. Yeah. And then normal stops. Uh, slightly blocking driveway, okay? So when I asked you to stop, as we started the independent driving, I think it was the independent driving, Driving. Anyway, there's one occasion you, you slightly blocked up. Yeah, it was just when we started the the, uh, the independent driving. I said, all right, at the end of the road, turn right, roundabout right, and then you are going to uh, follow signs to Pinner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, the, the beginning, just at that when I asked you to pull up, you number one pulled up, and your nose was slightly encroaching uh, and slightly kind of blocking the driveway on the left hand side. That for me was okay a reason for me to give you when they ask you to when they ask you to pull up like i like to pull up somewhere safe on the left they generally want you to avoid driveways so like you know like you did now yeah mm -hmm. you're not blocking any driveways it's perfect okay in general unless they say to you right don't worry about blocking the driveway for this occasion and they'll tell you that okay. um you also i gave you another stop for i think you were too close to car in front yeah so in other occasions you didn't give tires on tarmac okay so that was another and you'll see it in the video anyway when you when you look back and awareness and planning, you missed Pinner? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, and then we eventually found, luckily for us, another sign telling us how to go to Pinner, yeah? Because I remained silent for a long period after that because I didn't know what to, uh, I couldn't give you anything at the moment. So I was either looking for signs to give to you or uh, directions. But to be honest with you, there was only roundabouts coming up and I, I, I wanted to stay in a particular route. So I had to sort of stick to just not staying silent until I found some relative signs that I wanted to give to you. All in all, but... 12 minors, unfortunately. Uh, it's a lot of minors, but a lot of the stuff that you, I think you could have avoided, like, for example, getting too close to parked cars, normal stops, not, not, not blocking a driveway, not getting too close to the car in front. Um, 
your pedestrian crossing again just being conscious not to accelerate to the pedestrian crossing turning right on the roundabout again just making sure that you are not entering that roundabout until you know for clarity that you're going to be going entering for good without having to sort of pause or encroach in any way shape or form and um, stopping, stopping on the right even though it's an easy maneuver honestly people just make a difference it's silly mistakes on this particular t the thing okay um it's just making sure you're parallel one remain parallel two before you stop i mean as you put a stop just make sure that you're about a foot from the curb and stay a foot from the curb um just the harshness with the foot brake when you when you stop with against the van yes it was a tires and tarmac as well but i had to mark you down for one so i'll just mark you down for the way you broke for that van i i think you broke it very harshly i think it may be a lack of anticipation there in terms of what space and you know you know how much room there is to maneuver in um the accelerator just a bit excessive that's what it was really um Appropriate speed, okay. Technically, that was one more. I didn't, I didn't want to mark you down for that. Technically, 13 minus then. Um, the forest road, uh, I really appreciate what you're doing, but at points where I think you could have been a little bit progressive, you're like doing like close to 11 miles an hour and sort of 12 miles an hour. I think it's a 20 mile an hour road in certain stretches, or and it's a 30 mile an hour on certain stretches. I think even on the double bends, the max speed limit is 20. You're doing like 11, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just a bit too slow. You had a black Mercedes lady behind you, I don't know if you recognize or not. She was literally like this, like, she was like, oh man, it's just so slow. I'm happy with you going slow on the double bends. That's what we want you to do. But I think at certain situations and certain things, like even the double bends, like they're kind of tight. They're not super tight. It's just, they're bendy. I think we could have just been a bit touch more progressive in, in certain, certain, or those certain, certain, certain bends. Uh, I don't want to criticize too much because I don't want you to be like, all right, cool, let me be excessive now. I just want you to find that balance. That's all it is, all right? Um, I don't know. What, what's your thoughts on that? I'm going to block this.